Hey, it's Dina Collada here, and I'm so excited that you're here for, I think, video number three in my creating a Shopify print-on-demand store. So in this video, we're going to go in and add our logo. And I've already created a logo using Canva. If you don't have Canva yet, oh my gosh, what are you waiting for? Get on the train. It's 100% free. In the pro version has the background remover, which I love, love, love. I use it almost every day in doing graphic design for online business stuff. So if you don't have it, I do have a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. So I appreciate it if you do use that and support me on my channel so I can keep creating amazing content for you. So, all right, let's get to it. We're gonna go ahead and Go to the Shopify. We're still in the setup phase of setting up our store. We've already um, connected Printful to this and we've already added a custom domain. You know how to do that through the Shopify um, app. So right now we're gonna click on this next step and click add brand assets. And your brand is, your branding and your colors are so important because it keeps things cohesive through your social media channels and for now I have a, a logo I am in the process of still dialing in it could be the final logo it could change a little bit but before I really launch the store I want to have it all dialed in so everything matches across all my channels and I don't have to go and upload you know 50 different logos on all these different platforms so in the logo area, 512 pixels are minimum. I'm going to go and go ahead and make it 512 by 512. I want to keep it that size so the page speed loads faster. If you have a 10 inch by 10 inch logo in an area that only needs to be this big, it's going to take people's computers or phones longer to load your site and that's they're more likely to bump off or say screw this it's taking too long to load the page i'm out i'll go buy my stuff somewhere else so having your files compressed and small is really important for page speed because people want i want it now i want it instantly i want it yesterday so make your images as small as you can without losing the integrity of how the image looks okay i use png a lot on um, graphics because I like to use transparent files a lot of times. So I am going to go ahead and upload this image again. Click add images and I'm going to click the logo that's new Corkaby logo and it's uploading. There it is. So we're going to click done and there's my logo. I'm going to make it a square. You can make it a circle. You can make it a favicon. There, your favicon, it's actually gonna shrink it down. I think the max or the minimum requirement for favicon is 36 by 36. I usually make it 40 by 40 just to keep it simple. But this, you can see what it's gonna look like as a square, as a circle. I like it as a circle because it keeps it nice and tight and it doesn't need this white edge around it. All right, um, here it says need a logo, create one with Hatchful. I like Canva, it's great. I've never used Hatchful. It might be great also. Okay, so the brand colors are going to appear on my store, social media, and more. So what we want to do is go to Canva if you haven't um, used Canva yet. And we want to use the colors that are in this image. We want to grab um, probably the hex codes on here. So let's click Add Primary Color. So we're going to go here, click on this and we're gonna figure out what color that is. If you don't know how to pick colors out of Canva, out of an image you're using, you click on the image, and here on the left-hand side, close to the search uploads area, you can click background color, and then look right here. It has the picture of the logo, and it pulls the colors out of the main image on the screen. So the black one is zero, 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 easy to remember white is you can click on that oops is white is f f f f f f f f f this red color is c21616 
So I'm going to click on that picture, click in this um, little square over here, and then I can copy Command C on Mac to um, get that color and put it into my Shopify. So my primary color, I'm not sure how it's going to look. So for now, let's see, there's a primary color. I'm going to use that as white to start and I'm going to play around with it and see what looks the best. My secondary color is going to be that hex code, that red. Oh, I don't think I saved the whole hex code. I want to go back in there and make sure I have the whole hex code copied and pasted. It's a C21616. Okay. We're going to put that in over here. Whoops. Secondary color C216. I don't think that worked. Why? I don't understand why this is copying. I'm going to type it in. C21616. Aha, there's the red. I did it. I feel very proud of myself. Okay, so we're going to have white as the primary color. The secondary color, let's go ahead and use black, which is 0000. zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero. There, it popped up the black. Um, let's see, the contrasting color. Oh, wait, contra the primary color is going to be zero, 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 zero. The contrasting color, we'll have to save some of this stuff um, and play around with it. Now we want to have a key image that shows off your brand in profile pages and apps. So you want to have it 1920 by 10, 1080 pixels minimum. I'm going to pick the minimum again because of uh, page speed loading times. So let's hop on over to Canva and let's go back to the home page. Since this is going to be a um, offshoot of corkabee.com. I want to keep those primary and secondary colors in this cover image. So, okay, I want to open this up again. So, it goes 1920 to 1080. 1920 to 1080. Okay, so we're going to open Canva and we're going to click Create Design and go to a custom size, which is 1920 by 1080. Okay, so we have our untitled design. So let's go ahead and title this Shopify store cover photo. Let's see, cover image. Okay, and you can go ahead and look through the templates and see if there's anything that fits your brand. So I'm going to scroll through and see if there's anything that I really like. Um, let's see if there's anything with wine and food because that's what my app is about. And this is going to be the t-shirt side, the e-commerce side of my business. Oh, there's nothing that I'm loving. Let's see what else there is. Oh, here's one. I like the color schemes in there. That looks pretty sharp. So you can pick out whatever image you want. And you can just play around and make it your own. So you can go ahead and watch me do that with this. Corkaby Shop. That looks okay. Let's see what this little circle says. Superior flavor ratio. Recipe. Corkaby is a recipe maker. And oh, but this isn't the recipe maker. This is. I'm going to just delete that. We don't need to get too crazy with the details. Let's keep it really simple for now. We're going to get rid of like a whole bunch of this stuff on here. I don't need all this. But you can make things however you want. I have Canva tutorials on my channel. You can check out that. And you know, I'm going to change these colors 
so they are the correct colors for my brand. Um, and I need to actually change my palette there. Okay, so I'm gonna look and pull out these hex codes here because those are what I wanna keep this background as so it's all cohesive throughout everything. Make it red, boy, that's really bright, isn't it? Maybe I'll make it the black instead. That'll make it look classier. Corkaby shop. And we're gonna pull this red and then we can make these red highlights, that red um, copy with the correct red color. Okay, so now that's the right color. Let's make that the right color red. Corkaby shop. Maybe we can find another image on here. Or maybe I'll just make it our Corkaby shop. We're gonna get rid of all this other stuff. We're gonna keep this really simple just for um, being fast here. After I have some t-shirts designed and ready for Printful, I can upload those into, you can upload those into your cover image. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the logo in here too, just for the heck of it. No, I'm not, that looks ugly. Okay, we're gonna just keep it that. Corkaby Shop, download that. And that's all we're gonna do for this. Now we're gonna hop back over to our Shopify store and we're gonna add this cover image. So we've gotta upload our Corkaby Shop. I don't know if it's downloaded yet. I don't know, let's take, oh, there it is, Shopify store cover image. All right, and you're gonna really see just adding these few simple elements and changing the primary and secondary colors, your website's gonna look a lot different. Okay, it's um, got a 16 by nine ratio there. We can add a slogan. So let's go ahead and put the world's First, hmm, recipe and wine pairing. Well, let's change this actually. The world's most fun wine and food apparel. This could change. But for now, it's going to be shirts. The world's most fun wine and food apparel shop by Corkaby. Oops. Spell check. Here we go. Okay, and you can have up to 80 characters there. You can use all those, and that's good, really good for SEO too. And that'll help you get more traffic to your website. So wine and food apparel shop by Corkaby. Oh, actually that's our slogan. So let's, the world's most fun wine and food apparel shop. That's an easy tagline or slogan. A short description can have up to 150 characters. Now I wanna show you another trick that you can use. I use AI for a lot of the things that I work on because it saves me time. So if you don't have ChatGPT yet, um, you can go to chat.openai.com or you can use Jasper and that's what I use a lot too. It's a paid piece of software that's integrated with ChatGPT, but a lot of times ChatGPT is so busy and their servers can't handle more chat from you. So I use Jasper when ChatGPT is down. I paid for the subscription. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and put, let's see how many characters are in there. And I'm gonna copy this right here. Short, I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to write, let's see, write a short description of the business Corkaby. Call 
called Corkaby Shop. That sells sells wine and food apparel in less than 150 characters. Okay, so I'm going to put that down into the prompt on ChatGPT and watch the magic and click enter and let's see what ChatGPT gives us. Shop wine and food themed apparel at Corkaby, your one-stop online store for unique and stylish clothing. Sounds good to me. All right, so we're going to go back over to Shopify. And we're going to put this in here. Now let's tweak it a little bit. Shop fun. I like the words food and wine better than wine and food. I think it has better flow. Shop food and wine themed apparel at Corkaby at our Corkaby shop at, at Corkaby shop period. And when I do editing for anything, I like to read it out loud because if something's clunky, when you read it out loud, if you stumble over your words, you know that it needs to be edited down a little more. So let's read it out loud. Shop fun food and wine themed apparel at our Corkaby shop. At Corkaby shop. It's, it's your one-stop online store for your unique and stylish clothing. And then it has hashtags too. So maybe that's a thing. I'm not sure. Social links, you can add all your social links, but I haven't created all of those social links, all those social profiles yet. So I'm done for now. I'm gonna click save. And then we're gonna look at corkabeeshop.com, refresh that page and see how it's changed. Okay, it looks pretty similar. It's white. Um, you can see the logo up here on the left, which looks really nice. I think that looks sharp. Yeah, I like it. Oh, this is what my SAS application sign-up page is going to look like. So that's going to be available really soon if it's not already. Okay, so I think that we have added our brand assets. And we didn't do our social media connections yet because I don't have those set up yet. So I'm really excited for you to be on your e-commerce journey and you can start a print on demand store yourself. And I hope you like this video, like comment, please subscribe to my channel. It really means so much to me to have your support and I'll see you in the next video. And after you're done watching this, there's going to be links to my other videos. So you can follow this whole series of how to create your own online store and connect it to Printify. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.